Hi there, in this video and the next one, we're gonna look at some of the shortcuts that uh, aren't big enough to have their own videos. I'm gonna kind of slam them all together. Uh, this one here, this first video here, are the, the ones at the top of my list. The ones I use the most that really help me go fast as an editor. So the first one is something called Ripple Trim. Uh, it is your Q and W keys on your keyboard. So I'm gonna start something in here like, mm, it's weird, sometimes I double click it and I find my in and out points. Okay, I use my audio kind of slider there and I find my in point, I set the I, you know, I go along here and I set the O and then I drag it in. I, I do that a lot of the time. Okay, you gotta go back to video to do that and drag the whole thing in and you've got a nice cut. And then the other half of the time, I don't know why, I just dump it on the timeline and do my editing on here. It's not better or worse, but they require different kind of techniques or at least different shortcuts to make this nice. Like, uh, let's say the same thing in here. I like to make my audio nice and big so I can see close to where I get it, get back a bit. And the Q key, look at that, just trims it up and ripple deletes it. Get to the end here and go W and it trims the end. Nice, huh? It's called ripple trim. That one there when I learned that one, I don't know. I feel like I've saved a lot over my lifetime with that one. Because obviously the alternative is grab razor tool. Where are you? Ah, for the shortcut, get close, joop, joop, then delete, and then delete. Now that's, there's nothing wrong with that. And um, one thing that might speed it up if you still end up with the razor tool, ripple delete is, if I select that, and I wanna have this come back in, okay, hold down the option and delete. Because if I just hit delete, it leaves a big hole. But if I hold down option key on a Mac, alt key on a PC and hit delete, Hey, Ripple deletes as well. All right, so Q and W, those are really handy ones. Now the next one is not my favorite, but it has to go in here because it matches. It's right next to the Q and the W. Look, right next to him, who's his buddy? It's E, he's down there too. So what did E do? Uh, I don't like it because it's a little bit problematic to you. So let's say you kind of did some rough cuts and you're like, actually, no, it needs to be a bit further out here. Okay, you can hit E, that's what I wanted to do. And I wanted to jump out from there to there, but you have to select this bit first, then click E, and it will jump out to wherever your playhead is. Okay, so yeah, you might like that. I don't know why I don't like it, but um, uh, for it to work though, let's uh, let's bring in this here. And um, if it won't work, if I get to the end here, and say I want to extend it out to this, I click the end, like Dan said, I hit E, and nothing happens. Because there's no, you know, you've got no post roll. Okay, you've got, you have to like tighten it up so that I know that there's a chunk hiding in here that can be jumped out. So make sure it's selected, hit E, and it will jump out. All right, so <laughs> I really like E, sorry E. Uh, one of the other ones I use a lot, and let's go back. Okay, so Q and W are cool, but another one you just need, okay, <laughs> is just to do a straight up cut. You're like, actually, I wanna cut it, but not like ripple, delete everything, and all that fancy stuff. I just wanna cut it here, and then raise it all, slow, <laughs> slow, click. Okay, it's not that slow. Uh, but if, wherever your playhead is, hold Shift K. That's not the one you want. <laughs> Command K, that's it. <laughs> Shift K is my all time favorite shortcut of all time. Okay. <laughs> okay, Shift K loops back a lot, you know, jumps back two seconds and then starts playing. Okay, but Command K just as a cut. Command K. Just straight up cutting without going to the razor tool. Um, one thing to go even further, because hey, we're here for advanced stuff. Uh, let's delete these. Uh, option delete, remember? Or alt delete on a PC. Uh, I've got this other clip here. Okay, so I am going to get just after the flick. Just, yeah, just after the flick. Actually, use the flick on this one. Hold shift if you don't want it to jump. If you've turned on my little snapping feature. Just before the little flick. Again, I'm using my W. Okay, and I'm gonna get you here. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna hit Q. Oh, look at us, we're editing. Okay, and but what I wanna do is the, let's say I just wanna use the. Okay, the Command K. Okay, we'll do a cut. The problem with Command K is, let's have a look. Well, the extra thing for it is if I had some, say, B-roll over the top of this, and I now use my uh, Command K for a cut, it's only doing the layer that's targeted over here. I can change it, so I'm gonna undo, so there's no cut. I can say you are targeted, and then do my Command K. 
okay and that's fine but if you want to do two you're like oh, no, i'm going to switch it to this one turn both of these on okay what you can do is a little shortcut is just shift command k shift command k does all the layers all in one and you can kind of like trim quite a few tracks off at once not worrying about the targeting okay. so for no good reason command shift k all you guys trimmed off all right, those are my favorites. Those are my daily driver shortcuts. If you remember nothing else, QW, Command K for a cut, and Shift K to jump back this along two seconds. In the future. Let's go make it now. There we go. Let's get on to the next video where we do a lot of shortcuts all together in one big giant video. All right, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you do want to go further with Premiere Pro, you might want to join me for my larger courses, okay, called Premiere Pro Essentials and Premiere Pro Advanced. There'll be links for both of those in the description. Hope to see you in the course. Bye.